Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 1. It has been months since I've said that. Uh, the episode you got the other day was actually the last recorded episode that I had from my previous recording session that had a couple problems and I didn't feel like fixing them, so I started doing some epic battle fantasy stuff and did a bunch of other things and I'm back to this for now. We're almost done with this game, so I figured this is a good time to, you know, get back to this and be us and together and whatnot. Uh, as you can see, I did do the shares thing. Like I said, I was going to, I think, in the last episode, maybe. Maybe that was the previous episode for that. But uh, all of them are above 20%, the highest being Point Neptune, because I did a couple of quests, which I'll show off now. So... I did, I want to be famous to lower my others and raise Plan Neptune. I did, where is it? I did nursing a few times to lower Plan Neptune and raise Lean Box. And I did Spec Buster to raise Loey and lower Lestation. Those are the ones, I did a couple other small ones, but those are the ones that really mattered. So if you want to balance those out to get your, you know, ending that you want, do that. Work on those. So, we have some story stuff to do today, and then something special. Compass Apartment. Now that we've eaten and bonded, I'd like to start the meeting. <laughs> um, I'm not sure about the bonding part. I guess a simple argument can become quite large when CPUs are involved. For being a goddesses, that was quite childish, Nia. <clears throat> now, about the whereabouts of our four, we can't seem to trace her. Are you sure you look good? All the people in all the land searched. I believe we did our due diligence. How unfortunate. And just when I wanted to go on the offensive. <laughs> what? That dry aged laughter has got to be. It's Miss R4. Denizens of the world, can you hear me? Huh? Where's her for? I believe her voice is being transmitted from Celestia. Celestia. I'll use my power as God to rid of the world beneath. For being pushed into the corner, she's sounding mighty haughty. Beware, who knows what means the pressure to resort to. What? What's going on? What just happened? This can't be. How horrible. Stop mumbling to yourself and explain what's going on. Our four is planning to make the four lands collide into each other. What? Is that even possible? With our four's power now, it is certainly possible. Plan Neptune's going to be destroyed. Plan Neptune, Loey, Lestavian, Leanbox, they're all in danger. This isn't good. We've got to do something about it. Well, we better head to Celestia and beat up our four for good, then. That seems to be the only approach. Let us go to Celestia right away. But how do we get to Celestia? Come to think of it, I don't think we've been there before. There is a gate that the CPU isn't using the Basilicum. Let's head to one now. So, logically, since we're in Planeptune, let's head to the Planeptune's Basilicum. Sup, buddy? Been a while, hasn't it? Oh, you! Yep, me, Purple Heart. Love to chat, but I gotta go to Celestia Pronto. Stop fooling around and hurry on ahead. This is the gate connecting Celestia to the land. Who would have thought that the Basilicon had such a setup? We don't have much time. Ever now, everyone, get into that device over there. It's super tight in here. Hey, look, a pair of white, lumpy balls of yarn in my eyes. Uh, Nep Nep, please don't move around. Isn't there a bit more IF? Can you squeeze a bit m more there? Yeah, English. Like this? A little more, just one more person's worth. One more, that's a little too. Well then, I'll just hug you feet into me. Uh, Lady Bird, your press, my face. <laughs> Oh, don't be shy. It's not like a guy and a girl thing here. And since it's you, a special extra hug from me to you. Squeeze. What? So happy. Can you hurry his fly? I can't stand the pinkish eye in here. Squishy, Mia. 
Here we go then. Three, two, one, transport. Celestia, here we come. Yeah! Uh, nothing happened? Please. I'm in rife with this. That's odd. Let's see what's going on. Thank you for waiting. So what's the verdict? Malfunction on the equipment or something? It looks like Celestia's denied access. Wait, that means we can't get up to Celestia. Now that is a problem. Uh -huh. Is there any other way to get to Celestia? Maybe a plane or a helicopter? That's not possible. Without the means to get to Celestia, we're at a dead end. Is everyone gonna die? Isn't there anything we can do? It looks like we have our first victim, yeah. On the contrary, look at that face, so calm and full of happiness. <laughs> I can't believe it, if he's already dead, or at least she looks like it. I noticed you were having problems here. Yeah, our lovely loving savior has to cometh. You work here, right? Can you help us get to Celestia? We don't have much time. Well, if the gate can't be used, why not use the what the quartet used? The Rainbow Bridge. Why, yes, how could I have forgotten? That is a very good question, actually. How could she have forgotten? She's supposed to, you know, be a chronicle of the entire world. How can you forget something like that? Um, Isti, what's this about a reindeer bridge? Rainbow Bridge. It's a path the quartet set leading to Celestia. That sounds too good to be true. With the legend of the quartet as truth, this must be factual as well. The problem is whether it could still be used. We have prepared for its activation. All we need now are the keys. Keys? I'd like to give this to the wall. No, uh, Lady Purpleheart. Oh, you're giving me something? Thanks. Kappa, look, look, I got a cool looking sword. Wow, very cool looking, <laughs> strong. The key to activate the path are the quartet's weapons. I heard they are needed to defeat the enemy, so I had it readied for you. So this isn't a replica, it's the real Trinity Blade? Huh, it looks a lot different compared to the replica. Well, it was hundreds of years old, so it needed a revamp. Wait, you can't mean... We crafted the weapon for Lady Purpleheart. That's why it looks different. Exactly, now that it is new, we should... We would like our lady to rename the weapon, a name worthy for a weapon to save our world and game industry. Huh. Well, how about Master Blade Neptune? Excuse me for saying this, but I don't think that's proper. Using your name for the weapon you use? How tacky. I don't sense any inspiration at all. Using your name on a weapon? Unheard of, even in video games. Whoa, settle down, Kampa. The name sounds cool, right? Uh, um, I know you thought hard for the name, but it isn't too... I've been betrayed by Kampa! Don't fret, I'll name the weapon for you, Nep. Iffy? Let's see, Nep-like with a Planeptune theme. I've got it. Instead of Trinity Blade, we'll call it the Holy Fang Blade. Um, I appreciate the thought, but that sounds pretty bad, too. The Holy Fangs of Justice. Masticating evil. I like it. Well, I guess it does sound a lot better than putting a name on it. I like it too, oh, Ify. It has that feel of an ultimate weapon. You're kidding! Kamba! Master Blade Neptune sounds way cooler, right? The name Ify came up with sounds better. No! So, by unanimous decision, we'll call the weapon Holy Fang Blade. We got the Holy Fang Blade. This here is the ruins, where the path to Celestia can be opened. But... it's a dead end. How do we get to Celestia? There are slots on the wall, so the weapons need to be placed here? Presumably. I believe they act as keys to opening the way to Celestia. Wait a sec. If the weapons are the keys, then... Yes. Now that they have all changed form, they won't fit. Oh no. Is there another way to get there then, Esti? Sadly, no. But the ruins can function. 
So we just need a way to activate it. Easy then. We just have to force them in. That's impossible. How about widening the slot so that the shapes fit? Well, if you're gonna make them bigger, leave it to me. No, wait. You'll break the wall. Well, I suppose we have no choice but to force them in. We'll never know until we try, right? I suppose. But please be careful that you don't break anything. No problem, Isti. You worry too much. I'm actually worried most about you, Neptune. Well then, please place the weapons as I say. First, place the spear to the east wall. Oh, me! No, I'm talking about the original form, so that would be blonde. My, I jumped a bit too early there. <laughs> I did it, Eastwar. I thought I heard a strange sound just now. It's your imagination. Why are you looking away from me? Anyway, next, to the south wall, the dual revolver. My turn! How should I get this to fit the shape of a revolver? Um, Noir? As I mentioned before, please be sure not to break anything. No problem. All I'll do is place the hilt here. See? Perfect! Wow, that's dangerous with the blade jetting out of the wall. Fine. Next, to the west wall, the wisdom bow. I thought as much so. See? I already have it in and it matches perfect. What? Vert! What are you doing? Hmm? I just bent the spear so that it's in the shape of a bow. Why? Whoa! It's like creaking? It looks like it's about to break! I'm the last one! Neptune, please be very careful that you not break anything. Okie dokie. I won't break the wall like Blonde or the weapon like Vert. See? I already carved the edges of the wall so the sword can fit. Ah, the sacred walls of the ruins. Carved. You're the worst, Nip. <sighs> I guess what's done is done. Now, let's create the path to Celestia. Finally! I can't wait! Ancients, open the seal of the path into Celestia. Wow, a shooting star is shooting into the skies! Look! There's a rainbow path after the shooting star! It's so pretty! Sincerely like a shooting star by Frost. Now the path to Celestia is open. Thank goodness! Let's go, everyone! To save game industry! To Celestia we depart! Right! And now we have access to the Road to Celestia, which we will not be going to yet. Uh, I still have some things I'd like to do. The first things first, uh, let me save real quick and do one thing. Alright, Sir Toichi. He has a plan to summon stronger enemies. I want to do something major and become a hero. Add enemies for the Road to Celestia. The cat. I'm sorry, Tom. It's a plan to change the item scene in a dungeon, yeah? Find out what you can get with this, yeah? And Politan. I think I showed this off before and got wrecked. But, uh, just in case. Hmm? Say, Ify, what's that funny looking yellow bear thingy there? Yellow bear? What in the world are you daydreaming about uh, what's that I've never seen such a thing before hmm? it's so cutesy like a teddy bear yo gals it talks what you gals never saw a talking bear before uh well is there something you want i got a deal for you beat me and i'll give you something good something good who like pudding eh, well that's for you to find out but you're gonna have to beat me first I can take care of this myself. All right, now, yay! One of the mist. That's good. They hit like a truck, but. No attacking while I'm 
We've leveled up quite a bit, so we should be fine. Holy hell, is that going up fast? It is finally my turn. Let me show you my true form. Okay, I can hit all of them. Care of this. Wow, uh, this was a really easy battle. Are you ready? I will have you perish here. Let's finish it with a spiral break and the actual full animation for it. That's over a million damage. Okay, max damage. New record of 1,006,520. A max set combo of 262. We got 2,460,094 experience. Neptune was 82 a second ago, now she's 87. We leveled up five times. Look at that stat increase. Level up. Let's keep this up. Let's <laughs> level up. Level up. Level up. Yes! My death will finally level up. Burned out, man, just like the dying number of ashes. Well, that was pretty intense. I thought it was gonna be sandbag in time, but I didn't expect backups. As they say, forced by numbers, dig. Now then, here. The Fury, Aaron. Obtained the Fairies series. Nito, thanks, yo, weird bear thingy. You're the man. Oh, and if you want to test yourselves out again, stop by the Coliseum. Come visit me if you need some challenges. I'll show you my real stuff. Oh yeah, I'll beat you silly again. Count on it. So, yeah, we did that. <laughs> All right, uh... First things first, I forgot to swap out Armus for the Holy Fang Blade, but... Oh my. That strength, though! It doubles! I mean, it has to be worse in some way. Uh... So I checked him out. Uh... The Holy Thing Blade has a power of 20, guard damage of 75, and hit two squares. The new weapon, the Fury Aaron, has a power of 30, guard damage of 100, and look at those increased stats. It's just better. I don't... I'm using it. We just got the weapon we were supposed to use for this, but no, here is my <laughs> real true weapon. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just way overpowered now. Neptune, I need to check people's stats. Blonde has a strength of 1535. Neptune has a strength of 3323. Okay, uh, I didn't, I, I'm blown away by that. I did not see that coming. We're gonna head to the Coliseum real quick, real quick and uh, fight some people who we haven't beaten yet. Let's do the Worker's Enemy. The Mondays. Uh, that was clever. I like that. I'll show you the power of the CPU finally. of Loewe. It is finally my turn. Okay. My best action now is... Now, what shall I do? Her, her, her. My best action now is... That was simple. Yeah, uh, Feel Neptune is overpowered is what I'm warning here. I'm in the groove. Okay, win. We beat the Mondays. I just realized, though, this is gonna screw up my thing by doing this. I can fix this later, I can fix all of these, but for now I'm just gonna screw around and take care of some of these because I want them I want the experience and the rewards. And to see these checked off the list. I can take care of this myself. Finally. I probably should have put her in. You hit me! Finally, my turn. Does not matter. Um. My best action now is. 
Let's see, do I have any hit all moves or hit an area of effect kind of thing? Gonna beat ya! Okay. Um. Let's hit three of them. It's my turn. Let me show you. I also I'm forgetting to go hard drive divinity for some reason, even though it gives me a major stat boost. It's my turn. It's on now. And yeah, I've beat him again. Die. Are you ready? Wow. This is just sad. That was quite boring. So that experience though. La, la, la. She's now level 91. Level, 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 I think, yes, I finally level up you. So Polytan was nothing against us with that weapon. I want to try this one. Let's see who gets to go I first. I won't lose, ever. They do. <gasps> Okay. Hard Drive Divinity. Hold my power. It's my turn. Okay, she can't do anything. Wait, virus makes it so you. Oh, I don't think you can use can items in this. this. I think that's why. It's on now. I don't know who I have in the back for her, so I won't even bother. Okay, so level 110 seems too high for right now. It is finally my turn. Yeah, okay. It's just too much. It is finally my turn. Okay, done. Can't take this anymore. I lost. No. That's unfortunate. It's fine though. I didn't fully expect to be able to beat everyone, so it didn't mess up my uh, shares too much. I will be able to go back and do that again. I just wanted to see what would happen, and I found my way to grind. If I wanted to keep getting experience like that, to get millions of experience, I would go in there and get everyone up really high levels. Wow, okay, that seems like a good place to stop for now. Not as long as some of the episodes normally are, but I figure this is a good length of episode. So guys, next time on Let's Play Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 1, we're going to be moving on, uh, we could go to, I don't even know if there is another dungeon we could do. I could see if there's anything that we have ruins I haven't done, I could find, see if there's any other side dungeons, but honestly, all we have left story-wise is the road to Celestia and then Celestia itself from the sounds of it. So, I mean, we could take care of all that. Either way, we'll figure it out. Guys, I'll see you all next time.